channel this has been a tough one a tough one a very good friend uh, of ours an American uh, chap and this is very true he sent me a message to say the mayor triac has gone and that my dear friends is a very true statement she was a matriarch and she has gone sadly through no fault of her own but this tale has to be told and once again it's about lack of attentiveness and uh, being in responsibility of someone else's property and shocking shocking not mentioning no names or anything like that but to take charge of someone else's dog and uh, not be in its presence for long periods of the day and sadly poor butter was left in a cage in a kennel with an open door and uh, just with a chain that she went with around her neck and sadly because of the situation she was in she slipped that chain and with the door being open she got out and she broke through the poor security gate and she headed for the main road She'll be heading for home. And sadly someone knocked her over. And she died. Whether she died on the side of the road in agony, I don't even want to go there. It's bad enough losing her. But she was found the next morning by the girl's grandmother. Uh, obviously she died so by the time we got there i couldn't drive mem had to drive and this girl and mem lifted butter in and we brought her home and probably one or two of you have seen the uh, the video of uh, butter coming home very moving you can see now i'm quite uh, emotional I'm, I'm that sort of person. So anyway, keeping composure, we brought Butter home. And uh, Mem, virtually single-handed, uh, did a little bit but nothing. She dug the grave for Butter. And we put her in it and said goodbye to her. And then I said to Mem, I want to go and get Rosie. So we went, Mem drove an hour, uh, an hour and a half to this other place where Rosie was and had been there for a week. And when we got there, no signs of anyone. There was no one there at all. No one there. Uh, and in the, uh, the building, which I'll put a clip on, where Rosie had been left, a week earlier she was still in and uh, again no one there Rosie left on her own no water no bed just left in that building well we've talked about this before about these so-called breeders and that like I'm, I'm just speechless so me and Mem have come to a decision 
never, never will any of our dogs leave the safe haven of their home and the protection of men and me. Never. But, and so, how are we going to service? Rosie, Minnie's supposed to be looked after by uh, Bobby, which is ongoing at the moment. So anyway, back to Rosie, very excited when I shouted over and she looked up out of that bloody cage building and we went and she she got back in the car and we brought her home. I'll put a little clip on. And uh, at home we came. She's had a couple of days sort of isolated a bit, just in case. You just don't know with these lot. You just don't know. But she settled back in. And so we've decided we're going to get a puppy male to look after the other females. Obviously, butter's gone now. Uh, and I can't dwell on the name, to be honest. But since we have been back, and today, well, Sunday, me and Mem went to the Watt to pray for butter. We also Mem also poured water down the tree trunk in remembrance of her uh, for her soul. And uh, today, being Monday, Monday afternoon, I've been trying to keep my mind off it. It's been a struggle. It has been a struggle. I never want to go through this again. The loss of her has been horrific. As a lot of you will know. And uh, I'll put pictures on, but for the two hour period while I've been pottering around in the kitchen and that, Mem has gone outside and she's built out of uh, concrete blocks and cement uh, a more permanent grave. It's to finish yet, and there's a plaque to place on it. She's underneath a blessing tree. I'll put a picture of that on for you to look at. And there she'll rest. And people have said, the spirit will still run with you, Michael and me. What horrendous, horrendous, how people can be non-attentive of these beautiful animals. Very sad very sad but anyway that's me trying to compose myself to put this next uh, vlog out for you to uh, see what had gone on so i thank you me and them thank you and we thank you for all the love the messages the condolences we've had of uh, friends family and supporters. It's touching. It's moving. So, thank you. Thank you.